Hey guys, so I'm like running around because I have to head off to work in like 15 minutes or so. So um, I'm going to read two poems quickly uh, because I didn't post yesterday. Actually, um, I had a really busy day, but then um, one of my friends, Cody, came over and we watched Vampire Diaries and Glee and then we ended up like staying up and talking with my roommates until like 1am. So um, yeah, now I'm doing it. <laughs> Um, so, I wrote these two poems in class, um, uh, in my poetry and performance class, and I don't really love either of them, but I guess it's a good way to show where I was, I guess, at the beginning of the year, um, and hopefully, I mean, it's only been, like, <laughs> like two months, but I feel like I've progressed quite a bit, um, and that always seems to happen to me when I take a creative writing class here. It feels like I, like, read the stuff I wrote at the beginning of the semester. I'm like, geez, who wrote this? This sucks. I'm like, oh, it was me. Um, so, yeah, I guess that just goes to show the quality of the classes here. Anyway, um, so the first one um, I think it's just called Grown Up. I don't have a title here, but that's what I remember calling it in my head. So this is grown up. There is violence in steel-tipped claws pitter-pattering across boardrooms. Is this what it means to grow up, skin separating into tissue-thin layers, melting on the tip of your butter won't melt in my mouth mouth? I'd rather grow down, push myself backwards, back, crick, snap, cracking out of place or into place. Who the hell knows anymore? I want to go back to swimming in the ocean, to, to hell with great white monsters, to hell with sunbathing boys that glisten with overdone oil, to hell with the sand clumped inside my swimsuit, to hell with fear, to hell with reticence, to hell with adulthood. Actually, to hell with the beach. I want to go back to my embryonic sack, before rules or standards, before I had heard the word death, before I watched her die, my mother, me, whoever that referred to. I want, I want, I want to live before there was life so I don't have to, so I didn't have to watch the world open up, mouth dripping with magma, saliva, and stalactite teeth, and chewing me up bit by bit. I'm not the biggest fan. And then, um, the next one I'm going to read is called Humor. Um, and actually the prompt for this was, uh, we were supposed to talk about uh, our first something um, and I decided to talk about the first time I felt like an adult which after a lot of consideration I kind of decided was um, the day I first like suppressed my like I wanted to cry and like tried to stop myself because I knew how it would make others feel I think that's kind of a real measure of adulthood so I guess I, I wrote about that first moment they call it a knot but it's a tumor, and they want you to swallow around it. Two days ago, I was a child. Now I know the value of suppression. There is no such thing as putting the fun in funeral, not when she was 41 and my mother, not when everyone is crying and I have to be strong for them. No, I have to be old for them. This is Davy Crockett's ship, and I've only drawn breath for nine years, but I've been here for so long, I've forgotten what faces are supposed to resemble. And this tumor wraps its mutations around my neck, snapping it until the disgusting horror movie growth is the only thing holding my head up. In a room full of monsters, faces red and puffy, I am the crazy-eyed one, the dry-eyed one. I am the daughter with the gritted teeth. I am the pre-adolescent adult, and I am the one to be feared. Okay, so um, I'll post this and then scurry off to work. Um, you guys have a great day.